Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay. Perfect. You too, sir? Very well. Ready for the English class. Cool. Vamos a esperar unos minutos para ver si se unen los demás compañeros. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Nice. Welcome to the English class. Thank you. Vamos a eh, esperar un poco más para que los demás se puedan unir, pero igual si hay preguntas o dudas, estamos a la orden. En la semana de la cuarta etapa. Curso. Perdón. En esta semana tenemos que concluir la cuarta etapa del curso. Sí, esta semana sería para ir terminando la sección 4 de este módulo. Entonces, igual si hay preguntas, dudas, estamos a la orden. Ahora, bueno, mañana vamos a revisar la plataforma por cualquier cosa. Ok, vamos a esperar. Good. <risa> Okay, everybody, we are going to start. Welcome to the class of today. Uh, the first question, as Carlos was saying, um, is about the platform. How is everybody doing in the platform? Uh, did you finish just section four? Uh, do you have questions? Do you have comments about that section? I am in uh, 4.15, I think. Okay, so... Nice, you're on the Very good. So let's say that you are going to finish this week and the next week we should be in the section five and finishing with the final test. So uh, of course, as I was telling you, if you have questions, if you have doubts, if you have comments, uh, you can uh, type into the group or you can also chat with me directly so I can help you with that one, okay? Okay. Good. So today we are going to continue with 
different part of the of the topics that we were checking. So this is a, a little reading that is a little bit different. Okay, it's a little bit different from the ones that we have checked before. These are recipes. Okay, so what we're going to do for, first of all is to repeat, check the pronunciation and some uh, vocabulary, and then you are going to read. So everybody please repeat. Simple sweet scones. Simple, Simple sweet scones. scones. Read the recipe. Read the recipe. Ingredients. Ingredients. <laughs> Two and a half cups of flour. Two and a half cups half of flour. Cup of flour. One tablespoon of baking powder. Flour. One tablespoon. One tablespoon of baking powder. Powder. A half a teaspoon of cold butter. A half, a half teaspoon of cold butter. butter. One quarter cup of sugar. One, one quarter cup of sugar. sugar. Use a third if you want sweeter scones. Use a third, Use a third, third if, you, if want you want sweeter, sweeter scones. scones. A pinch of cinnamon, optional. A pinch of cinnamon, optional. Two thirds cups of milk. Two thirds cups, 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 cups of milk. milk. Steps. 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 Hit the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Hit, Hit the, the oven, oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's do that one. So it's going to be 220 degrees. 220 degrees. Degrees Celsius. 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 Put flour. Put flour. Put flour. Baking powder and salt. Baking powder and salt. In a large bowl. In a large, in a large, bowl. large bowl. And stir well. And stir well. Stir well. Add the butter and cut it with a pasture blender. Add, Add the, the butter and the cutting in the pasture blender. Three blender. Or rub in the butter with your fingers. Or rub, or rub, rub in the butter your with your fingers. Until the mixture, until until the the mixture, mixture looks like fine breadcrumbs. Look like, like, like money bread crumbs. Add the sugar and dust to mix. Add the sugar and dust to mix. Add the milk and stir with a fork. Add the milk and stir with a fork. Until the dough is firm. Until the dough is firm. Form the dough into a ball. Or the dog into the ball and roll the dog into a six inch circle. And roll the dog into a six inch circle. Cut out wedges for each scone. Cut out wedges for each scone. Line straight with grease proof paper and place the wedges on the paper. Sprinkle a little sugar. Sprinkle, sprinkle, a little sugar. sprinkle a little sugar. And cinnamon on each scone. And cinnamon, and cinnamon on, each scone. on each scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes. Baking, baking the, the oven for about, for about 12, minutes. 12 minutes. 12 or, minutes. Or until they are medium brown on top. Or until, or they, are until brown they are medium brown, brown, brown on, top. on top. Okay. So by now we are going to check some vocabulary and pronunciation. If you have questions on pronunciation, you can also ask. 
So for example, the name of the recipe is simple sweet scone. That is kind of contradictory, right? Simple scone. sweet. So it's kind of it's simple or sweet. But anyways, that's the name of the bread. So um, what are scones? Do you know what is that word, scones? No. No. Mm -hmm. Scones are like biscuits, like, um, sí, como unos biscuits, unos, como se ve en la fotografía, ese tipo de pan. Okay. Uh, what is recipe? Recipiente. Recipiente. That is not correct. La receta. La receta. Very good. Uh, recipe is receta. Very good. And then we have ingredients. The pronunciation of this one is two and a half. Okay. Two and a half, and a half. cups. What is cups? Cups. Um, good. Of flour. What is flour? Arena. Arena. Very good. And then it says one tablespoon. What is tablespoon? Como cuchara medidora. Cucharada. Cucharada. That is it. Una cucharada. And then it says of baking powder. What is baking powder? Polvo para hornear. Polvo para hornear. Nice, nice. And then we have one half. That is one half, or podemos decir también a half. Teaspoon. What is teaspoon? No. I don't know. Par. Cucharadita. O sea, de las chiquitas. Entonces, mm. la de arriba, tablespoon, es cucharada normal. And teaspoon es cucharadita, de las más chiquitas. Por eso es como cuchara de té, ¿verdad? Así más o menos se traduce, pero nosotros decimos cucharadita. And then it says of cold butter. What is cold butter? Mantequilla. La mantequilla, claro. Fría. Fría. O sea, que no la calentamos. La mantequilla, el, la media cucharadita es de mantequilla, pues, saca de la refri, se puede decir, o oh, sin calentarse. Then we have uh, one quarter. This is going to be one quarter or a quarter a cup of sugar. Use one third, un tercio, one third, if you want sweeter scones. So do you have any question about this one? No. Scones son como bizcochos. Es el nombre del pan que estamos cocinando en este momento. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Cuando esté yo le doy un poquito. Ajá. Coffee. Yeah, with coffee at this time will be fantastic. Yes. Okay. Then it says a pinch of cinnamon. What is a pinch? Una pizca. Una pizca. A pinch Canela. of cinnamon. Oh, uh, yeah, good. Cinnamon is canela. Nice. And this one is says optional. So if you want, you can add that one. A ver, ¿cómo se, cómo se leería este? Dos tercios. Two thirds. Good. Two third cups of milk. Two third cups. Then we're going to check steps. It says heat the oven to... Uh, veamos que es heat. Calentar el horno. Very good. Heat the oven is calentar el horno. All right. To 220 degrees. El símbolo que tenemos ahí a la par del cero. It says grados. Grados Celsius. In English it will be degrees. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be 220 degrees Celsius. Or Celsius degrees. It's better degrees Celsius. Remember that in English also sometimes it's very common to say Fahrenheit. So the, that is a different measure, right? Okay. okay. Then we have put flour. Uh -huh. What is to put flour? Poner harina. Poner harina. Poner harina. Very good. So we're going to put the flour, the baking powder, and salt in a large bowl. What is bowl? A recipiente como... Como un recipiente redondito. Redondito, gordito, bonito. Well, it might be <laughs> a bowl. Sería un tazón. Como el Super Bowl. Y los que les gusta el fútbol americano. Okay. 
So a bowl, un tazón. And stir well. What is stir? Mezclar. Mezclar, batir. Sí, mezclar. Mezclar sería mejor. Stir well. Revolver es la palabra. Bien. Revolver bien. Claro, Then, bien. yeah, it says add the butter and cut it with a pasture blender. Do you know what is a pasture blender? No. No. Um, no. Es como una, una tool, una herramienta que utilizan para cocinar más que todos los que hacen pan, pasteleros. Es como un ablandador, una, una cosa como de madera para ablandar ahí la, la, la masa. Como un rodillo. Como, ¿Un rodillo? Algo así sí. como un rodillo. Yeah, good. Ah, okay. Y hay otra alternativa. Dice or, recordemos que or es o, rub. What is rub? Frotar. Frotar, ¿verdad? Frotar es como que hacer así con la mano, ¿verdad? Rub. Eh, esa palabra también se ocupa mucho con la medicina. Rub ointment. Es como poner pomada. Big sobar. Ajá, como con el big. Rub, big vapor, something like that. Teacher, pastry blender is, es como un tipo de cucharón. Ajá, algo o sea, sí. Es que la punta es plástica. Y, o sea, y es como goma. Ese Eso. Es el pastry blender. Entonces, Exacto. es un cucharón así como largo. No sé cómo explicar. No escucharon porque la cucharada es onda, es como una paleta, pero Ajá. digo mala punta. Como exacto. Un, exacto. Ajá. Como Very good. That is it. Perfect. Eh, well, it says, and rub in the butter with your fingers. Uh, fingers, what is that? Dedos. Dedos. Good. Until the mixture. Uh, what is until? Antes. Test. Hasta. 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 Good. Hasta. So rub with your fingers until the mixture. What is mixture? Mezcla. 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 Oh, very good. Until the mixture looks like fine breadcrumbs. Uh, what is fine in this situation? Bueno. Fine is linea, ¿verdad? Me. Fino. 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 Very no. good. Ah. Fino. En, este, en esta situación es un adjetivo que se refiere a algo know. fino. Breadcrumbs. What is breadcrumbs? Breadcrumbs. ¿Serán grumos? No. No como grumos. Es como... Eh, como cuando ustedes rayan pan ¿verdad? para hacer empanizado de algo. Eso es breadcrumbs. No recuerdo la palabra exactamente. Como migas. 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 Ajá, como migajas, podría ser como migajas, pero la rayadura, no recuerdo, como es un polvo como para, no sé, para empanizar. Eso, eso es el breadcrumbs. Sí, en, este caso, en este el caso, en este caso, es como galleta Perdón. triturada. Algo, mm, sí, algo así. Por eso dice que tiene que mezclarse con los dedos hasta, hasta que la mezcla se vea como fino, como polvito fino, algo por el estilo podría ser. Ok. okay. Then we have add sugar and toss to mix. What is toss? I don't know. Okay. Sería como revolver, pero cuando agarramos el recipiente y le hacemos así, ¿verdad? O sea, que no le metemos una cuchara a revolverlo, sino que lo ponemos ahí a bailar algo. ¿Qué cosa es ¿Qué va toss? Ajá. Toss. <laughs> Ese es un verbo también que se ocupa mucho para los... Cuando hablamos de juegos, los dados. Toss the dice. Eh, se, se dice tirar los dados. ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, hablando de cocina, es un movimiento así. Ok. Mm -hmm. Then it says, add the milk and stir. ¿Qué era stir? Y mezclar. Mezclar, revolver. Good. With a fork. What is a fork? Una cuchara. Tenedor. 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 Good. Yeah. Porque cuchara, ¿cómo era? Spoon. 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 Good. Y cuchillo, ¿cómo será? Knife. Knife. Very good. Knife. Knife. Okay. And then it says, add the milk and stir with a fork until the dough. What is dough? Masa. La masa. Very good. Dog is firm. Okay. Number six says, form the dog into a ball. And roll the dog into a six inch circle. What is inch? Pulgadas. 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 Very good. 
Entonces, como que con, uh, formar un círculo de seis pulgadas. Good. Then it says cut out wedges for each scone. What are wedges? No. No. En este caso, hablando gajos. de... Gajos. Como gajos. Very good. That is it. O sea que hacemos el círculo y luego cortamos como gajos, que es lo que le vamos a poner arriba. Si ustedes vieron la foto, ahí arriba se ve que está el círculo abajo y luego le ponemos algo encima. So esos son los wedges. Good, good. Uh, let's see, let's see. What are we? Six, right? Uh, circle eight. wedges, uh, seven. Okay. And eight. Line straight with greaseproof, uh, greaseproof paper. So what might be line straight? Línea recta. Es como dibujar una línea en este caso, pero es una, la línea que va arriba. ¿Y qué será grease proof? Do you know that? Como papel graso. Papel grasoso, papel de... Ma mantequilla se llama, papel Al, de mantequilla. Eso es en español. Very good. Papel de mantequilla. Ok. And place the wages on the paper. So, in this case, what is place? Poner. Poner. Se dan lugar. cuenta de que ya no es place de lugar. Aquí ya es un verbo. Aquí tenemos que ir viendo estas situaciones. Line straight. Por ejemplo, line ahí es verbo. Eh, place the wedges. Ahí place ya es verbo. Es una acción. Entonces, poner. Place the wedges on the paper. Number nine. It sure. says, yes. Teacher, in this case... We will uh, use um, put on se podría, the place. Se podría poner, es ambivalente. Eh, sin embargo, place es bastante común, la verdad. Poner es como poner en un lugar específico. Place. Okay? Y put es como poner en general. Cualquiera de los dos se puede usar en esta situación. Ok. Good. Number nine. Sprinkle. What is sprinkle? That is it. So when you take with your fingers and you sprinkle. sprinkle. So sprinkle a little sugar. A little sugar. What is that? Un poco de azúcar. Un poquito de azúcar. Un poco de azúcar. No more. Very good. A little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. What is each? Cada, 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 cada uno. Cada bizcocho. En number 10, bake. What is bake? Hornear. Very good. In the oven for about 12 minutes. Or until they are medium brown on top. Uh, ¿Qué sería toda esa frase? Until they are medium brown on top. Como que hasta que antes estén que en todos los medios. De arriba. Hasta que estén dorados de encima. Very good. Hasta que estén medio, dice. Medio, medio dorado. dorado de encima. Porque si no se nos quema. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so this is the first recipe that we are going to check today. Um, do you have any questions before we read? Because we are <laughs> going to read. <laughs> no questions. Okay. Let's read then, okay? Um, we are going to start like this, okay? First one is going to be Herman. Hello, Herman. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Read the right recipe. Two uh, it seems there are some problems in the connection because I can barely hear you. Hello. Creo que hay problemas con la conexión. Ok, vamos a esperar, tal vez después. 
Um, a ver, Vilma. Hello, Vilma. Hello, teacher. Eh, leer los ingredientes, ¿verdad? Sí, sería, eh, déjeme ver, lo vamos a partir porque hay otra receta. Sería, va a leer los ingredientes y luego va a leer el 1, 2 y 3. Ok. Fruit de sip, sip, recipe. 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 Ingredients. Eh, two. Uh, one, in a house. In a house cup of flour. One taste a spoon of baking powder. Uh, a house. A house. This spoon of cool butter. A quarter? No. I, a quarter. I, yeah, a quarter. Quarter. Cup of sugar. Use. A teacher, no. <laughs> Los, eso así no sé cómo se dice. Uh, one third. One third, if you want sweeter, it's come a pin of cinnamon optional. Two, three, go. Two thirds. Two thirds, go of meal. Is this heat the oven to, um, I guess the 200 is. 220. 220 degrees. Degrees. <laughs> Put flour, baking powder, and salt in a large bowl and stir well. Hasta ahí. Hasta el número dos. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sí, creo que quedamos nice. Okay. Um, next one is going to be Jorge Antonio Figueroa. Number three until ten. Three to ten. Okay. Add the butter and cook and cooking with a pastry blender or rub in the butter with your finger until the mixture looks like fine breadcrumbs. Add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the meal and stir with a fork until the dough is firm. Form the dog into a ball and roll the dog into a six inch circle. Cut, cut, out, cut out widgets for each scone, line a tray with grace proof paper, and place the widgets on the paper. Sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Perfect, thank you. Kathy Sines, you are going to do the first part. Give me a moment, please. Of course. I, um, I have problems with that. Have they Don't seen worry. Screen. Screen. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot read. Really? Okay, let's wait. Uh, le vamos a dar chance y ahí Jorge Hernández le va a ayudar por ahorita. Sí. Luego vamos a, a continuar. Si puede arreglar eso, pues vamos a, a usted sería la siguiente. Okay. Okay. It's simple sweet scones. Read the recipe. Recipe. Ingredients. Recipe. Pardon. Sorry. Two and a half cups of flour. One tablespoon of baking powder. A half teaspoon of cold butter. A quarter cup of sugar. 
Use one church if you want sweet scones. A piece of cinnamon, optional. Two chairs, cup of milk. Steps. Heat the oven to 220 degrees. Put floor, baking powder and salt in a large bowl and stir well. Okay, that is Add it. Butter. Okay. Yeah, until number two. Thank you. Um, Katia, are you ready or do we go to other person? Other person. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Humberto, you're going to do from three to ten. Okay. Add the butter and cut and cutting with a pastry blender or roll in the bowl with your fingers until the mixture looks like fine breadcrumbs. Add the sugar, add, add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the meal and stir with a fork until the dough is firm. Form the dough into a bowl and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Right? Circle. Circle. Cut out wedges for each scone. Lay a tray with grace proof paper and place the wedges on the paper. A sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Juan Panameño. Sample is with a scone. Three to recipe ingredient. Mm, two and a half. And a whole cook of flours. One table spoke of baking powder. A half a whole teaspoon of cold powder. A quarter cook the sugar. Use a one third. One third is a your one squeezer scone. A piece of cinnamon optional. Two. Two thirds. To, to share cut of meal. Instead, he's the, ov the oven to. 220. 200 to 220. Uh, degrees. Degrees. Celsius. So floor, but floor, baking power, and salt in the larger bowl on a steel well. Okay, perfect. Emily, you are going to do the other part. <laughs> Add the butter and cook in a wheat and pastry bl blender or rub in the butter with your fingers until the mixture looks like fine bread crumbs. Add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the milk and stir with a fork until the dog is firm. Form the dog into a bowl and roll the dog into a six inch circle. Cut, cut out wedges from each scone. Lie a tray with a grace proof paper and place the wet just on the paper. A sprinkle a uh, little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Bake in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Perfect, thank you. Uh, it's going to continue Carlos Cruz. Uh, 
with the vegetable ingredient. Two and half cup, cup of flour. One tablespoon of baking powder. A half teaspoon of cold butter. A quarter cup of sugar. Use what beer is you want sweeter spoon and pitch of cinnamon optional. Two third cup of milk. Step one, heat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Two, push flour, baking powder, and stir in a large bowl and stir well. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Erling Lainez. As the butter and cut in with a pasta blender or root in the butter with your fingers until the mystery looks like fine bread crust. And the sugar in tooth to mix and the meal in a stir with a fork until the dough is fair. Pour the dough into a bowl and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Cut or waited for each scone. Line, line a tray with crisper paper and place the whitened on the paper. A sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon or one each scone. Bake it in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium bulbs out top. Okay, thank you. Okay, the next is going to be uh, Natalie. Okay, simple sweet scones for the recipe ingredients. Two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of a baking powder, and a half teaspoon of cold butter, and quarter cup of sugar. Use one third if you want sweeter scones. A pinch of cinnamon, optional. Two, how I say that? Two thirds. Two, two thirds cups of milk. Steps. One, heat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Two, put flour baking powder and salt in a large bowl, bowl sorry, and stir well. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Karen Melendez. Add the butter and cut in with pasta blender or rub in the butter with your fingers until the mixture looks like fun breadcrumbs. Add the sugar and toss to mix. Add the meal and stir with a fork until the dog is firm. Form the dog into a ball and roll the down into a six inch circle. Cut a wedge for each stone. Line the tray with grease proof paper and place the wedge on the paper. Sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Bake it in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they're they are medium brown on top. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Eileen. Read the sweet ingredients. Two and a half cups of, of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of cold butter, one Quarter cup of sugar, use one, one third if you want sweeter scones. A pinch of cinnamon, optional. Um, two third cups of milk. Steps one, heat the oven to two hundred twenty. One. Heat the oven to, to 100 degrees Celsius. Two, 
food flour baking powder and salt in a large bowl and stir well. Perfect, thank you. Next one is Jose Lino. In the butter and add the butter and cook in with a pastry blender or rub in the butter with your finger until the mixture looks like fine bread crumbs. Add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the milk and stir with a fork until the dough is firm. Form the dough into a bowl and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Cut out widgets for each scone. Line as a tray with grace proof paper and place the widgets on the paper. Sprinkle, sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Baking in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Thank you. Next one is going to be Gabriel Argueta. Read, read the recipe ingredients. Two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, a half tablespoon of cold butter, a quarter cup of sugar. Use a third if you want sweater scone. A, a pinch. pinch. A pinch of cinnamon, optional. A two thirds cup of milk. Steps. One, heat to oven to 2020 uh, degrees Celsius. Good. Uh, Put flour, baking powder, and salt in a large bowl and stir well. Thank you. Next one is Susie. Number three, Wanda. Yep, please. Add the butter and cook in way a pastry blender or what? In the bar, no, porque la silla puya tiene un clavito. Déjale in the, the mixture, look fine bread crumbs, uh, the sugar, um, toast to meat, add uh, the meal, and stir why, uh, for como se dice esa palabra que sigue. Perdón. Work until. Until. The toe is firm. Um, for the dough in, into, into, into. a bowl um, and roll the dough in a uh, six inch circle cup or oh, weapons for each scum. Like like a dry white waste board, paper and place the wafers on the paper. Sprinkles a little sugar and cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. on each scone. Bread in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown on top. Okay, thank you. The next one is uh, Kayla Lopez. Read the recipe. Ingredients. Two uh, half cups 
of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of cold butter, a quarter cup of sugar, use a uh, one third if you want sweeter scones, a pinch of cinnamon optional, two thirds cup of milk, and a step. Heat the oven to to two hundred twenty degrees. Degrees. Good. Put flour, baking powder, and salt in a large bowl, and it's still wet. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's see who else is missing. Kathy, uh, are you able or is it not possible? Yes, I can. Okay, number three. Add the butter and cut in with a pastry blender or roll in the butter with your fingers until the mixture looks like fine bread, bread cups, bread, bread crumbs. Bread crumbs. Bread crumbs. Add the sugar and toast to mix. Add the meal and stir with a fork until the dough and firm. Uh, pour the dough into a bowl and roll the dough into a six inch circle. Cut out wedges for each scone. Line a tray with grass proof, grease proof, Grease, uh, grease proof. Grease, grease proof paper and place the wedges on the paper. Sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon on each scone. Bake in the oven for about two minutes or until they are medium brown, brown out top. Thank you. Next one is going to be uh, Katie Orantes. A simple sweet scum. Read your side ingredients to one half cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of cold butter, one quarter, se decía? Un cuarto? quarter. one quarter cup of sugar. Use one third if you want sweet scones. A pinch of cinnamon, optional. Two third cups of milk. Steps. Uh, one, heat to oven to 220 degrees. See? Degrees Celsius, yeah. Uh, and two, put flour, baking powder, and salt in the large bowl and stir well. Thank you. Next one is Fabiola. ¿Cuál número? Number three until ten. Okay. And add the butter and cook it with a post pastry blender or roux in the butter with your fingers until the mixture looks like fine bread crumbs. Number four, add the sugar and toast to the mix. Number five, add the meal and stir with a fork until the dog is firm. Number six, form the dog into a ball and roll the dog into, into a six inch cycle. And number seven, Cut up wenges, wenges, wedges, uh, wedges, for each scone. Um, number eight, line a tray with greasy proof paper and place the wedges. I don't remember the pronunciation. Wedges. Wedges on the paper. Uh, number 
right? Sprinkle a little sugar and cinnamon and is scum. And number 10, baking the oven for about 12 minutes or until they are medium brown up top. Perfect, thank you. Uh, anybody else is missing by now? Falta alguien de leer. I guess everybody read, right? Okay, nice. Do you have any question before we go to the next one? Uh, this is interesting because for first of all, you are going to see that there are steps. Well, these numbers, uh, numbers are going to be there forever, right? If you don't remember numbers, it's good for you to practice. These numbers are different because are fractions. So they, uh, you have to say them in a different way. Uh, and also the steps. I mean, this is like a procedure that uh, we can uh, do. And I have another reading. That's, this is very small, to be honest. Uh, let's repeat, everybody, please. Pepperoni pasta. Pepperoni pasta. Pepperoni pasta. Pepperoni pasta. Ingredients. Ingredients. Pepperoni sauce. Pepperoni sauce. One red onion. One, One red, red onion. onion. Two red peppers. Two, Two red, red, peppers. Peppers. red peppers. 120 grams pepperoni. 120 grams pepperoni. One can, 450 gram uh, tomatoes. One can, 450 grams tomatoes. One cup of water. One, one, one cup, cup of water. water. One cup of water. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. 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 Garlic. 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 Oregano. 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 50 grams pasta per person. 50 grams, grams pasta per person. person. One cut the onion, red peppers, and pepperoni. One, One cut the onion, onion red, red peppers, 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 and pepperoni. pepperoni. Two, heat some olive oil in a pan. Two, two heat some, some olive oil in a pan. a pan. And fry the onions, red peppers, and pepperoni. And and fry the onions, 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 peppers, peppers, and pepperoni. Three, add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water and cook for 20 minutes. Add oregano, 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 Five, serve the pasta with the pepperoni sauce. Delicious. Five, Five. serve the, the pasta, pasta with the pepperoni sauce. sauce. Delicious. Good. So this is very small. Uh, mm -hmm. We are going to check vocabulary first. Um, number one, maybe onions. What are onions? Do you remember? Cebollas. Cebollas. Yeah. Good. Do you like onions? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay, good. Sauce, what is sauce? Salsa. 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 And the peppers. Pimienta. Pimientos. Very good. One can. What is here? A can. Eh, lata. Lata. Very good. Mm. Una lata. Or 450 grams. O 450 grams of tomatoes. Then it says one cup of water. Olive oil that I know that you know, garlic, eh, oregano that is the same in Spanish, and 50 gram pasta per person. And then we have uh, the procedure: cut the onion, the peppers, and pepperoni. Heat. Do you remember what is heat? Yeah. Very good. Some olive oil in a pan. What is pan? Cacerola. Cacerola. Very good. And fry, what is fry? Fry. 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 fry the onions, red peppers, and pepperoni. Then it says add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water and cook for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Cook the pasta in a big pan of boiling water. What is boiling water? 
Es como una olla eh, onda. Agua, eh, olla de agua hirviendo, ok. So, a big pan of boiling water. Boiling is hervir. Uh, number five, serve the pasta with the pepper and sauce. What is serve? Servir. That is it. So, this is kind of, kind of easy. Okay. Uh, let's read. Uh, la primera parte va a ser solo los ingredientes y la segunda parte los procedimientos. It's going to be, um, well, we don't have much time, but we're going to try. Okay. Katy, mm -hmm. can you please start? Katy, are you here? Sorry, sorry. Uh, I am I mute my microphone. No, uh, uh, ingredients: pepperoni sauce, one red onion, uh, two red peppers, um, one hundred twenty grams. I don't grams pepperoni. I can. 450 grams tomatoes, one cup water, olive oil, garlic, oregano, 50 grams pasta per, per person. Good. Next one is Humberto. Okay. The procedure. Yes, please. Okay. One, cut the onion, red papers, and pepperoni. Number two, keep some olive oil in a pan and fry the onions, red papers, and pepperoni. Number three, add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water on and water and cook for 20 minutes. Number Min four, cook the pot. Cook the pasta in the big pan of boiling water. Number five, serve the pot with the pepperoni sauce. Delicious. Thank you. Jorge Hernandez. Okay. Ingredients. Pepperoni sauce. One red onion. Two red peppers. 120 grams pepperoni. One can, 415 grams tomatoes, one cup of water, olive oil, garlic, oregano, 50 gram pasta per person. Thank you. Karen Melendez. Cook the onion, red peppers, and pepperoni. Two, heat some olive oil, in a pan and fry the onions, red peppers, and pepperoni. Add oregano, garlic, tomato, and water. Cook for 12 minutes. Cook the pasta in a big pan of boiling water. Serve the pasta with the pepperoni sauce. Delicious. Thank you. Next one is Juan Panameño. Ingredients. Pepperoni sauce, one red onion, two red pepper, 120 grays pepperoni. I can a 415 tomatoes. I cook water, olive, olive oil, garlic, oregano, fishing gray, pasta per person. Thank you. Next one is Emily. One, put the onion, red peppers, and pepperoni. Two, heat some olive oil in a pan and fry the onions, red peppers, and pepperoni. Three, add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water and cook for 20 minutes. Four, cook the pasta in a big pan of boiling water. And five, serve the pasta with the pepperoni sauce. Delicious. Thank you. Next one is Katie Orantes.
Hello, Katie. Okay, she's not here. Fabiola. An ingredient. Um, pepper and sauce. And I read onions. Uh, one red onions, two red papers, and one hundred twenty and grams, grams, grams pepperoni, and one cam forty fifty grams tomatoes, wap cook water, olive oil, and garlic, and oregano. In 15 grams pasta per person. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio. One, cut the onion, red pepper, and pepperoni. Two, heat some olive oil in a pan and fry the onion, red pepper, and pepperoni. Add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water and cook for 20 minutes. Cook for, cook the pasta in a big pan of boiling, boiling water. By serve the pasta with a pepperoni sauce, delicious. Thank you. Next one is uh, Gabriela Argueta. Ingredients, pepperoni sauce, one red onion, two red peppers, and 120 grams pepperoni. I can 450 grams tomatoes, one cup water, olive oil, garlic, oregano, and 50 grams pasta per person. Thank you. Next one is Eileen. One. Cut the onion, red peppers, and pepperoni. Two, heat some oil, olive oil in a pan and fry the onions, red peppers, and pepperoni. Three, add oregano, garlic, garlic, tomatoes, and water and cook for 20 minutes. Four, cook the pasta in a big pan of boiling water. Five, Serve the pasta with the pepperoni sauce. Delicious. Okay, good. Uh, at the bottom, there are some tips for writing. Can you check on that one? It says, use commas between a list of items in a sentence. So that is important. When writing a recipe or instructions, use numbers to indicate the stages and use the base form of verb, imperative, to give instructions. So the imperative is like that one, right? Cook, serve, heat. That is the imperative form when you are using or providing some instructions. Um, we couldn't read everybody, but the most of you read. So um, do you have any question by now before we finish? No teacher. Okay. No teacher. So this was the class for today, my friends. It was a pleasure to be there with you. And uh, remember to continue with the platform. This week, we should be finishing the um, section number four. And uh, well, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye.